Hey everyone, so this is the instructional video for how to set up your all new Iceplate Exo CRH or chest rig hydration. So first, what's in the package? You're gonna get an Iceplate Exo rear plate bag. You're gonna get an Iceplate Exo CRH adapter kit, a pair of Icefence Aero ventilated shoulder pads, shoulder shrouds, and a pair of sizzle sticks with 48 inches of shock cord. What you're gonna need for this installation is a ruler, ideally, don't have to have it, a lighter, and a good pair of sharp scissors. Let's get started. All right, so now that we're ready to set up our sizzle sticks, it's super, super easy. I've gone ahead and laid everything out um, according to which side you're gonna install it on. It's gonna help you keep everything straight and make sure you get the orientations correct. And in particular, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to your chest straps. So you'll see that there are two different size loops on the chest strap. And you wanna route the shock cord for the sizzle stick through the small loop, which we're gonna show you in a sec. And the reason that's really important is because this is the orientation of the chest strap once it is on your Iceplate Exo CRH. And you're gonna need this big tab, this big loop tab here to grab onto to be able to tighten and adjust. So we have our 12 inches of shock cord and we are, have already cut the tips here and then we burned them with a lighter and then we rolled the tips as soon as uh, we stopped burning them. And what that does is it creates this nice edge which will make it very easy for us to thread through our sizzle sticks. And so we're gonna wanna start from this back flat side and then lace through to the curvy side. Okay, and then once we do that, you're gonna wanna tie a simple overhand knot. And then you wanna leave just about an inch. Don't make it super tight just yet. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. And then you bring it through like this. And then this is where the layout and the orientation uh, is super, super handy, okay? So you're gonna lace this shock cord through the small end. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it's taut. Okay, so now once you have that situated, you wanna make sure you tug on your sizzle stick all the way through, make sure it's taut. Then secure with an overhand knot. And you're gonna to wanna to press it down against the surface of the sizzle stick, like so, to make sure that it remains taut. And now you can go ahead and get a little bit tighter. And then we just cut off our edge. Burn. Now we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the sizzle sticks inside the Iceplate Exo rear plate bag. Time for the ice plate. Now remember this fit is gonna be super tight. 
but that is by design so your ice plate doesn't move around on you. There you go. Now we're set up and we're ready to move on to the next step for the shoulder straps. All right, so now that we've got the sizzle sticks assembled, we're gonna move on to the shoulder straps. So the first thing that we're going to do, we've got our ice fence arrow, we've got our shoulder shroud, and we've got our shoulder strap. So we're just going to connect the shoulder strap to the ice plate XO rear plate bag, like this. And then we're going to connect the shoulder shroud. This has to go on first. It's gonna be a tight fit, but that's by design. Now that we have our ice plate XOCRH rear plate bag fully assembled, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our chest rig. And there we have it, a fully assembled ice plate XOCRH. Hopefully that was really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, drop us a question in the comments below, or you can shoot us an email at info at As always, smash that like button, turn on your notifications after you subscribe, and until then, stay frosty.